Hey everyone, another gorgeous day here in Addison, Illinois at MGMClassicCars.com. Today I have the pleasure of going over this 1966 Chevrolet Chevelle. So I'm going to walk around the car, we'll talk about the car, we'll do a walk around inspection inside, outside, then we'll do a, a test drive video because most of my sales are on site unseen, in person should I say. So again, 66 Chevelle nice nice red paint and you'll see it in their function as i get closer to the car but at first i want to show you just a walk around so you can see every angle of the car okay all the um, chrome bumpers front and back are in great condition the bezels rear taillight bezels all the emblems trim around the windows the correct rally wheels nice radial ta gt tires Door handles are nice, vertical strip on the glass is nice, all the glass functions, rolls up and down real nice. Nice front chrome bumper, nice original front bezels, and obviously the SS396 trim, meaning the emblems have been added all around in the correct areas, okay? Because this didn't start off life as a super sport. This is a 136 number VIN on the car. To the people who don't know that, a real 1966 Chevelle Super Sport begins with a 138 number in the VIN. And the non-Super Sport cars began with a 136. Well, this is a 136, but it looks like a Super Sport and dressed up as one. The price tag is not like one, but it is a very nice quality condition. I would say a 10 year old restore on the vehicle. So right now we'll get a little bit closer um, into the car so you guys can see. Trunk lines up real nice as you can see the lines on both sides. Not perfect, but nice, okay? And again, this car is over 50 years old. It's not gonna be perfect. And I'm also gonna show you the defects. You know, the little blemishes in the car and we're gonna go over it, okay? So first and foremost, um, okay, that was just a little, just a little dirt there, but beautiful shine, beautiful mirror-like reflection throughout the car, okay? There are no blemishes, okay, until I point them out, okay? So, so far we're looking at the car, look at that little blemish right there, okay? And that's on the passenger side quarter, okay? I mean zoom that out so you guys can see very little okay everything else looks really nice on the car now we'll go on the passenger door nice and clean all right there is let's see here is that a little yeah just a little dirt there there's a little tiny real small there fender is excellent nice gt tires look at that undercarriage is nice on the car too fronts are 255 60 r15s beautiful reflection vent windows do work really nice when you have them open call them wing windows as well the nice air goes right through there into the cockpit dual sport mirrors on both sides there's your wipers. The wipers currently don't work, okay? And I'm gonna go over all the stuff. Correct hood for the SS. So let's check out the gap here. Nice and straight. Driver's side gap, nice and straight. Grill is excellent. The bezels are original to the car as well. Look at that reflection, okay? little nick right there okay it's just a little dirt another little nick right there so i point everything out to you guys there's your driver's side wing window the roof line is really nice door handles are real nice and the driver's side quarter is excellent okay so that's the exterior part of it. All right, so now 
We'll check out the interior. Door lips look great, as you can see that. These do look like original door panels. They're not perfect, okay? Um, this is like peeling off a little bit here, but we could glue that back on if you wanted to, okay? There's your correct uh, where the Vintag's supposed to be. Rockers are nice. New door sill plates, body by Fisher. Excellent door jams, okay? That little rubber bushing, uh, well, piece that goes here is missing. So I'm going to order that as well. Driver's seat is a split bench, as you can see. Okay. Really nice condition. No wear and tear, as I can see. Seat belts are all intact. All right. Looks like the original steering wheel. Dash pad is original. I'll show that to you. It's an original. It's a little ringy dinky, um, warped a little bit, uh, but I am ordering a new one. Clean door jams. Definitely ordering a new dash pad in red again. Okay. Fuel gauge does work. That's confirmed. Speedo not working. Okay, and I'm gonna go over that again, but the car shows 67,685 miles. We believe it's original. We've been told it's original, but we don't know. Some kind of an older radio, it doesn't even turn on, okay? Um, so it just doesn't work. And uh, that's staying the way it is, unless I get requested to fix it. So there is your four speed. Um, this car was an automatic, as you can see, the shift indicator that at one time this was an automatic car and got converted into a four speed. But they did a really nice job and the car does shift well and drive well. Rear seats are like new as well. There are no seat belts in the back. Okay. Nice package tray clean rear door panels doors open and close really nice the gaps are good as you can see okay now let's check out the passenger side as far as the door gap really good really good it opens and closes easily like it should Okay, all the windows on all four corners do roll up simply and easily. Nice door jams. Again, original door panels, nice inner jams, body by Fisher, and the outer jams look great. All the weather stripping is in good condition. Headliner is nice. Light bulb is um, not working um, in the dome light, okay? So that's the view from the passenger side. Okay. What we're gonna do now is I'll pop the trunk open and we'll talk about that. You got this little trunk mat in here. I'm not a fan of them. So I'll take that out for now. All right. So looking at the factory GM numbers here, this is original quarter, original sheet metal. And I don't see any patches on the driver's side quarters. So this appears to be all original, okay? Nice weather stripping in the trunk. This has been spackled and painted. You know, they didn't do an excellent job, but it's solid. It's just a solid trunk all around, okay? Passenger quarter. As I look up here, there is your factory stampings. And when I look down here, it does appear that from this part lower, it's been replaced with sheet metal, meaning from here down, this has been replaced. This. This line here, if you can see that line, that's been replaced, okay? So let's get
get the trunk mat back in it. All right, looks all good in here. The car has been wet sand, buffed out. We did a paint correction on it, meaning took out and made it really nice and smooth and slick. I mean, super nice. Okay, and then we did a uh, ceramic coating film on the entire car. All the cars are disinfected before they leave our dealership. This one has already been done, but yet we will give it another wipe down once the car leaves the showroom. Let's check out the engine compartment. So a lot of you, if you don't know how to open up the hood on the old cars, because they are a little bit different from year to year, this one is right underneath the, uh, the emblem here. So you would just pull on it and lift up the hood. All right, 427 big block in the 66 Chevelle. That's what we were told. And that's what it seems to say and be. So nice core support across the way. You got um, Holly four barrel carb and you got your aluminum intake, nice chrome air filter correct valve covers, clean inner fenders, and firewall across, chrome alternator. And I said, really clean core support there. Newer battery. There's your power brakes. And then your power steering is below. Factory color code on this car is a CC. Go ahead and look that up for a 1966, and that will tell you what the original color to this car actually was. So... You know, I do these, you know, walk around inspections because I know a lot of you can't travel, don't want to travel, busy with work, don't have the time. Listen, I do the walk around inspections. I'm going to tell you all about the car and I'm going to do the test drive as well. So, um, again, um, let's let's grab my clipboard so I can show you what is not correct on the car I mean, as far as what it needs, in my opinion. OK, so here it is. 66 Chevelle Red. Okay, stock number 178, as you see that on my site, okay? So no exterior and interior turn signals, okay? The dash, because it's old and original, it's warped, I'm gonna replace it and I'm gonna take care of that as well. The horn, boop, boop, not working. I will fix that. Wiper switch. Boop, not turning on the turn signal. I mean, the uh, wipers, I know this for a fact. So wipers in up, and then also the door jam body gasket that I showed you those little rubber pieces that are about that big that go um, in the door jams. Those I will put on as well. That's my inspection report for what I've seen, okay? And what I've pointed out in my video. So we'll start the car and uh, listen to the motor and the exhaust. Nice dual exhaust, sounds really good. Couple pumps. All right, so we're back at the shop. We're not gonna go for a test drive today i don't have the time but i will reschedule the test drive 